All right, today we're going to take a look at the test results for this guy and the Cadex Vista. Okay, so before we get into it, if you're not familiar with the testing I've done for NTM latency and jitter for all the high performance RC links, I'll drop a link down in the video description where you can check that out and card to the upper right hand side. And in that we compare and contrast all the high performance models. We're talking Ghost, Tracer, Express LRS, FR Sky, Race Receiver, all kinds of stuff. Today we're going to add to that the DJI controller tested with the Cadex Vista as the receiver. So taking a look at the jitter comparisons, you can see where we rank here. Now this is the DJI Vista or the DJI system on normal mode. So there's two modes that you can choose in the goggles. One is just normal mode. The other is S bus fast. So normal mode, you're going to get around 10 millisecond packets, as you can see here, but they're very inconsistent. So some are 10 milliseconds, 10.25 uh, milliseconds down to 9.75 milliseconds. And you can see they kind of jump all around in there. So there's a, quite a bit of jitter in those packet lengths. Now, when you switch to S bus fast, you're gonna get around more four millisecond packets. And we'll look at that in a second. It actually alternates between four and six milliseconds. So it's a four millisecond packet, a six millisecond packet, then a four millisecond packet, then a six millisecond packet. Now on my test rig here, I couldn't get S bus fast to read, so I don't have it in this chart, but you can still see it in black box logging, which we'll switch over to here. And unfortunately, I could not get the end-to-end -end latency thing working. So I mean, I have the plug right here, so I was plugging in just like I was doing for this transmitter, where you plug the wire in, it sends a signal to this, it knows when it sends it. Same thing here, it knows when it sends it, and then it can detect when it's receiving it as well. And uh, just working with the Express LRS guys a little bit because they wrote the test code for this thing. But um, so, yeah, I'll drop a link down in the video description of the setup I got going. And if you see anything that I'm missing or know anything, you can look at the code base and uh, see anything that's obvious. Let me know and uh, we'll get that part done. But I did want to, you know, I did find some results here and I did want to get those out because I spent a lot of time on this. So as you can see here, this is the normal mode, and then we have the SBUS fast mode, and you could see how the packets, you know, this is the 10 millisecond packets, and again, some are smaller, some are longer, you know, it, when you look on the screen here, they look all about the same, but, you know, we're, some are 10.25, some are 9.75, um, just little variations in between those packet lengths that it's sending. Now, those all get smoothed out here in beta flight. Uh, with its smoothing um, parameters and whatnot. So uh, that seems to work fairly well. On this side, you can see again that those jump down to four millisecond packets. But when you're looking at SBUS fast, you can definitely see that if I zoom in here and then kind of come over to here, you can see how one packet short, one long, one short, one long, one short, one long. And if we measure those, you're going to get around a six millisecond packet for this guy. You can see that six. And then the next one here, it's about four milliseconds. And then again, six milliseconds. And then again, four milliseconds, so on and so forth. Now on the normal mode side, you're more consistent. So if I just go here and eyeball it, that's about 10. Again, 10. Again, 10. So you can see these are just more consistently around 10 milliseconds. Again, we still have that jitter, which I would uh, estimate is probably over here as well. So some are 4.25, 3.75 versus, you know, uh, 6.25, 5.75, you know, it, it's going to vary uh, in those just that those packet lengths because uh, it just does have quite a bit of jitter in the uh, in the lengths of those packets. Now, what we can do is we can compare that against Express LRS and some others uh, just with the test rig I have set up now where you're I have it on the 3D printer and then the print head just moves over and moves the stick. So it's a nice consistent way to have a nice consistent move each time because obviously that print head, when I tell it to go over or go back with G-code, it's going to be very consistent in its motion. Uh, and so we have that here. Now, there is a difference, obviously, the print head is making this controller move this gimbal, which is a little bit shorter. You know, that's not this exact gimbal. So there's there's two different radios and you're going to get slight variations between those two. Just, you know, just the heads on the gimbals are different 
than this one versus the other one and the throw is different as well a little bit so with that understanding uh, you can see here kind of the shape of the move and then some of the uh, jitter uh, that we're getting in the uh, feed forward signal as a result so this is the the stick move itself you can see up here on the right hand side this is the you know as you can see if you scroll here you can see how it's moving that stick uh, same thing over here and you can see how kind of feed forward is reading this now this is with no presets so uh, in reality when you apply the beta flight 4.3 presets this is going to be a little bit smoother than this so I'm, it's kind of the raw data to really point you know to, to draw a difference between the two and uh, it's fairly close I mean it's not all that much different between the two even with all that uh, packet jitter um, that the DJI one has and the Express LRS does not you know these are very consistent packet lengths uh, going down through here where where these are not now the other thing to keep in mind as you're looking at this you know normal uh, 10 millisecond packets is 100 Hertz uh, refresh rate where this Express LRS has kind of a handicap because this is 150 Hertz. So this is a uh, six millisecond packet. So the lower your packet rate, the more uh, jittery your signal will be. That's like I talked about in the last video I just did. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, how when you have a faster packet rate, you have more jitter to contend with, then uh, I'll drop a link down to that video description making card up in the upper right for that as well. Now this comparison here, this is SBUS fast. So this is about the four to six milliseconds. Some are four, some are six milliseconds. And then this is it, Express LRS 250. So this is more, more aligned because uh, 250 is four millisecond packets. Now, again, DJI has four, you know, four and six, four and six, four and six, where this is four milliseconds packets all the time, very consistent. Uh, but you can see the difference here in the feed forward signal. Um, again, uh somewhat similar you're going to see a little bit more here on the express rls just because that stick was moving around a little bit more here at the end you can see these numbers uh popping around here where this this was not you know that you can see that number just holds very steady here this 498 so you have to kind of ignore this section um versus this section here it just you know the differences in the what, how the radio was sitting on the <laughs> on the 3d printer bed but uh, as you're looking at this section right here as it's ramping up that would be more consistent and you can see here the spacing between these is a little bit bigger because of that the difference between the four and six milliseconds or here it's a little bit tighter but the amount of jitter uh, is kind of about the same uh, between the two i don't you know i don't really see uh as much difference as i thought i would honestly with that difference um in the packet intervals that you're getting with the dji and you're not with express lrs and we can do the same here and compare it against tracer so this is tracer which also runs four millisecond packets and you can see uh, how that looks uh, versus the dji and then we can also compare and contrast uh, tracer versus express lrs in this regard oh i almost forgot i made dji link presets as you can see right here these are going to be uh, right now they're on my repo yet which still works with the current configurator uh release candidate two uh but they will be here you will have a race option a hd freestyle and a cinematic option and obviously you want to definitely take a look at these different options here depending on what you're looking for and those will get you all set up this is going to be uh, DJI normal mode, and then there's a DJI S Bus Fast. Okay, well, that is it. I wish I did have that end to end for it. Again, I'm going to put down a link in the video description of a video explaining that setup. And if you see anything I'm missing, or if you have any ideas looking at the code base on how to get it to work, I'm all ears. I'd love to do that testing for this sucker. These are minor differences between the two. I thought I'd see a bigger difference, uh, honestly, with uh, DJI and the amount of jitter it has. Uh, that kind of jitter, I just remember back when we were doing this testing with R9 units before Express ever came out, and you'd see these big spikes when they were, you know, missing packets. Now, they were missing a lot of packets. So here you're going from four to six milliseconds and it's bouncing back and forth. R9 units and FR Sky, when this kind of all got on my radar to start with, 
they were skipping, you know, it was doing like a six millisecond packet, but then it was doing like a 20 millisecond packet and then back down to a six. So it was a huge gap. And then you'd see these big spikes in feed forward uh, and you could hear it too in the motor and the motor uh, commands. So not nearly as bad as FR Sky or the old R9 A. CCST now again R9 access is in good shape nowadays but uh, yeah nevertheless the results are the results I hope you found this helpful if you did please give this video a like thanks and I'll see you in the next one